this tutorial I'll demonstrate how Adobe CS4 makes PHP and MySQL record set programming child's play. And in the first tutorial that I gave for Dreamweaver I showed you how to connect to your site and your FTP. So that way we can access all the built-in uh, database mechanisms and objects that Dreamweaver CS4 can offer us. So let's see, the first thing we'll do is click on PHP and we're going to create a new PHP file and save it into our site defined folder. So let's save as. Here's that defined folder we made in the last tutorial for our site that's connected to the web and our server. And let's name this uh, tutorial list. Sample. Sample. Tutorial list sample. We'll save it there. Now, once it's saved there, we can go to. Let's see, where are we? Okay. So, once it's saved there, we can go to. Let's just stay in code view so we can see what's going to happen on the page. And if we're in design view, it's nothing right now. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is click on record set and establish what the record set is. Let's just name it what it is, the tutorial list. My tutorial list. The connection is none and there's nothing in the drop down, so let's define one. Let's go to new. The connection name my tutorial list thing. Now here you put your MySQL server, your username, your password, and the database name for connecting to your MySQL database. If you've connected to your MySQL database before, you'll have all this information readily available. If not, your hosting company can give it to you if, have if you have trouble finding it on your own. But usually it's it's uh, easy to get to. Once you create your database on the server, you can then get to this information very easily. So I'm going to put mine in, and then I'm going to test. Okay, I've got all my information in there. And before I test, I'm going to take the spaces that I put in out of the connection name, the very top field there, and take the spaces out of it in case it causes any problems. So now I'm going to test. And there's the testing file activity window. There it is. Connection was made successfully. That means Dreamweaver is connected to my MySQL database. And now we can use PHP to interact with it. So let's go ahead and press uh, OK. And this one, press Done. Now we have something in the drop down here my tutorial listing. It's going to load it in. It's going to grab all the tables that are happen to be in that database. And I want this info table for uh, the one that has all of my tutorials listing. And I'm just going to I'm going to go where it says columns. I'm going to hit the selected radio button and I'm going to select certain ones like the ID, category, tutorial name, and other things few other things creation date and how many times it was viewed that's good now let's go to filter let's leave that as none and you can set up filters if you like and sort I want to sort it by ID ascending so there'll be listed in a specific order. This is how you can list them by creation date or whatever you want. Let's list them by ID. That way we can see what's going on exactly when we check it out. Now we press OK. Since all invalid record set name. No spaces. See? It doesn't like that. Let's get rid of those spaces for this record set name. OK. A record set has been added to the page. To access the fields of the record set, please use the bindings panel. Okay. Now you see this PHP 
and MySQL interactions on your page. Now if you put this up on the server you won't see anything because look here in the body section nothing's displaying on the page. There is no content in the body section there. So you go up to dynamic, dynamic table and here it is. My tutorial list is already fed into that. Show 10 at a time, that's great. And all it would do if we said OK right now, it's going to make a table with a border of 1 and cell padding of 4, spacing of 4, cell spacing of 4. So if we press OK. Now we have a table in there, but there's not going to be pagination. So in order to get pagination, or uh, record set paging results like Google lists out one two three four five you know for all their page out results then you go after you get your dynamic table displaying in the page which is sitting right here you can see it now and then all of the data echoes in dynamically so what we do is go to record set record set my tutorial list now we're adding uh, pagination which is record set listings uh, paged out. And we're going to use text you can choose images but I'm just going to use text with example press OK now I'm going to control and save it now I'm going to load it up to the web and we'll see what happened before I do that let's just look at this code for a second and discuss that I didn't code not a stitch of this but I could very well learn from it if I took the time to try and understand what it's doing I could learn from this and the way it's structured out I looked at it already is it's pretty clean PHP and MySQL it's not the uh, the best I've ever seen or the most secure but it's clean and you can you can go further with securing it and making it cleaner but for paging out results it and making pagination on the fly with your with your actual database results using a tool like Dreamweaver uh, a five-year-old could do it you saw I didn't code anything so now I'm gonna FTP using FileZilla you could use Dreamweaver to FTP but I'm gonna use FileZilla because I like the manual control of the FTP here and I'm going to put the tutorial list sample page PHP up and you have to make sure that you put your connections folder up which was just created when we made this record set functionality so now you have a couple of PHP scripts inside of the connections folder which need to be present for this new file we just created to run okay so now let's grab the name of that new file so we can open it in the web browser and take a looky I'm using Internet Explorer 8 yes I like Internet Explorer always have okay so let's go to flash building and let's put the name of that page right there tutorial list sample PHP look at that isn't that beautiful these are all my tutorials coming out of the database and what's cool is since we put in the we use the record set paging option here which there's a little more options in there if you want to toy around with them but this gives you the general paged out results and then if I click next you see it goes to the next page shows you all new tutorials and then it gives you a different pagination navigation here or record set navigation you can go to the very last page, the very first page. Next, next, next. It's not the best pagination I've ever seen. <clears throat> and uh, actually, I custom coded my own pagination, which I think is the smartest pagination in the world because it gives you a little input box to say which page you want to go to. It tells you how many pages there are, and then it says jump to page, and it's a little input box. If you want to jump to page 72, you type in 72 and jump. Boom. I don't know why Google doesn't do it like that. It's kind of retarded that they don't. But hey, 
you want to get to page 342, you got to keep going to be, 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 and click, 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 click until you all get all the way there. It's retarded. Okay, so that pretty much shows you how a five-year-old, a ten-year-old, realistically, a ten-year-old can page out their database results from data that's in their live MySQL databases on the web. And that is so true because you saw I didn't code a single thing. I hit a couple of buttons. And if you know how to read, you got it. Okay, we'll see you next lesson.